Hey Crafty Peeps, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt's Designs. I am here to show you another fabulous altered canvas tutorial. I'm going to be using some papers from this paper stack I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, it is called, it's from the Paper Studio and it's called the Haberdashery. It's a specialty glitter, glossy foil, and craft paper collection. As you see, there's some glossy elements. Oh, yeah, see, glossy. Um, tons of beautiful uh, papers. Very vintage. Love, love, love it. So I have picked out two pieces out of this paper collection. I picked out this floral piece here and this scriptive piece. And I've been commissioned to... Um, do this to uh, an altered canvas and I wanted to do one inspired by Cinnabare from Prima Marketing. Um, love that type of work and um, so that is who has inspired me to do this one. So I went on my computer and found a beautiful uh, vintage lady. I scaled it up in my Photoshop program and I printed it out, put her on a piece of cardstock, as you see there. I ran her through my Xyron sticker maker. It was my Xyron Creative Station, 9 inch. Makes it so it lays flat and beautiful. And I'm going to start with her here, and I'm going to build a beautiful collage background. Uh, to around her so step back enjoy the process there's a lot of steps to this and uh, I hope that it inspires you and be sure to check out Finnabar uh, or Bear over on Prima you will love that work all right let's see.
turned out stunning. Oh my gosh. I know who, uh, the lady that commissioned this, uh, is absolutely going to love it. Love it. I love it. I love it so much. As you can see, lots of detail, lots of little trinkets, flowers, metal pieces, filigrees, pearls, you name it. This thing was glued on it. And I bet you, you thought, oh, this woman's going crazy. She has glued pinks and purples and reds against a, a vintage background. But as you can see, it all comes together with the painting techniques and using your uh, gessos and your acrylic paints, your modeling paste, and definitely a slew of Lindy's colors and laces and trims and your stamps. Like I uh, stamped a branch thing coming down her face like that. Totally awesome. And uh, just an array of different uh, things. I mean, it's just, it's so Finnebar and Finnebar and I absolutely love it. I love, love, love it. I love it. And I know she will too. And uh, I hope this inspires you to get out and create uh, your very own. Um, and I'm going to be creating another one, uh, probably with a different uh, color scheme, probably using silvers instead of golds. So uh, stay tuned for that. So this is a Finnevar Inspired Altered Canvas Part 1. And I will do another canvas, and it will be Part 2. So, and I'll show you step by steps just as I did in this video. And uh, again, stay for tons of photos at the end. If you have any questions about anything that I used in this um, tutorial, let me know. Um, also, um, be sure to subscribe, share, and give me a thumbs up on my channel. And uh, until next crafty tutorial, ladies, bye-bye.